Good morning, everybody. Shannon and Karen with Wandering Out Yonder. So we are down in Virginia. We are kind of south of Ro the Roanoke area um, on our Out West road trip. We decided to head out a couple days early and we stopped here at Smith Lake. Smith Mountain Lake. Smith Mountain Lake. State Park. Yeah, yeah. We thought we'd check out some of the other Virginia State Park campgrounds. So far, we just love this. Uh, Virginia doesn't disappoint. Virginia no. knows how to do their state parks. So what we're going to do is turn you around and show you this campground because I think a lot of you out there would be interested in it. All right, you ready? So again, we just kind of threw darts at a map and said, hey, let's go there um, because it's some place we've never been, but very impressed so far. Now the campground, as you pull into the loops, I think there's like four different loops. We're on loop D. Um, are graveled out and they are so well groomed and maintained. It's one of the things we love about the Virginia State Parks. They really do a lot of <clears throat> work in maintaining their parks. They're nice and clean. Bathrooms are always nice. All right, so here's a trail right off the uh, loop. Always a bonus for us. Yeah, which we always love. That way we don't have to move the van. We can just get out and start walking. What trail is that, Shannon? Several. Okay. So you can get to the visitor center from here, the picnic area, the beach. All right. Yep. Cool. All right. So directly from the campground, you can get over to the beach area. All right. So this particular state park boasts a huge lake. I think it's the second largest lake in Virginia. In Virginia. There's a big dam, which we haven't seen yet. Once we get there, we'll share. All right. We're going to turn you back around and show you the campsites. All right. So starting with campsite one. And again, um, as we were coming in, we said there was the trail. That's the trail we were talking about that would take you through the woods down to, towards the lake, which is way out that way, I believe. <clears throat> All right, so as you can see, graveled out, picnic table, fire ring, lantern hook, power, and there is a water spigot. Um, I think that might be a sewer hook up there. I'm not sure. Anyhow, you can go on the website to see which sites provide all of the amenities that you might need. So then as you're walking in the loop, um, and you have to go, I think, counterclockwise through the campground, over to the left, it's wooded, and then over to the right, you have your campsites, and then the woods are behind you. So these are really nice. And as you can see, this is number two, nice and deep. Um, a little bit close. These are a bit close, this one, two, three, and four to each other, but they are really nice sites. Deep, easel, easel, yeah, nice and deep. deep mm -hmm. This one's really deep. Yep. All right, so this is number three and four, which would be a good buddy site. So if you're camping with somebody, three and four would be excellent. You're three right next right. to each other. Mm -hmm. Easily going through. Oh, yeah. It's huge. All right, and you're kind of above the woods up here, so that's kind of cool. All right, further down here, five, six, and seven. And as you can see, they're all well-groomed, boarded out, um, graveled out, for the most part, very level. You know, you have a few that dip a little bit here and there, but um, nothing that can't be fixed as you're getting your camp set up. Very, very nice. All right. So this is where you would turn to hit different parts of the campground over here to the left. I believe this is the camp host site that's not here right now. This is the bathhouse right up here, has ice available and showers and everything. It's a really nice bathhouse. And then again, over to the right side, 77 through 41 are straight ahead, which that's what we're gonna take you through. All right, so site nine is a pull through site. You can see, pull up and through it. And then up here is the pad. You can either do a tent pad or however you wanna use that. That's a big site. Power, water, fire ring, picnic table, all the amenities. And then over on the right, Eight, ten, and eleven and twelve over here on the outskirts, our outer edge facing the woods. 
nice and big. Huge, 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 huge size. I love that they're facing the woods like that. All right, so I skipped site 13 because, or I guess it was 12, <clears throat> because people are camping on it. Um, but they're all kind of the same, where these, these loop through, pull through sites, and then your sitting area, picnic tables up here. But these are nice. Any of these would be a nice site to have. All right, so what we're approaching now are sites 16 through 28. These are um, tent sites. So, in other words, you bring your car down in here and park, I'm guessing, and then you have to walk down into your site. So, we're going to walk down here and take a look at this. Okay, so we are down here in the walk-in tent sites. And even these are very well-groomed. This reminds me of the River Right, Shenandoah River State Park. Mm -hmm. The um, riverfront campgrounds are very much like this, mm -hmm. very well-groomed. You can walk down into them easily. You can see down through here, they all have a picnic table, a fire ring, and a lantern hook. There's no power that I can see with any of them. But there you go. So again, you would park your car up here in the parking lot and then walk your things back down into these sites down here. And they go down in, down over here. And they do provide steps to get up and down. So you don't have to slide down the, the hill here to get to your site. Let's so see site 21. You can see there's a site down in there. All right, and this looks like it's not part of it, but uh, another site here. <clears throat> All right, so we're walking down in here to some of these tent sites. I'm going to show you site by site. All right, so there's site 16. Just to give you an idea, up there is where you'll be parking. Site 16. Down here at the very bottom. So these would be the most private sites you have. Site 18. This one over here is Site 19. And you're welcome back up here. This one here is Site 17. Right up here by the road. This one is Site 20. All right, now these are site 22 through 28. I'm getting ready to take a look at. Now these sites, I'm pretty sure, are no power, no water. These are pretty much tent sites. You could, in a van, use these sites, I'm sure, if you had a way, you know, if you didn't feel like you needed power or a water hookup. There's enough room that you could back a small van, like the van we have, into these. Yeah, these are really nice, these tent sites. They are, this is the woods over here, so you don't have anything over here. Um, so like this particular site right here would be really nice, this number 22, and the ones that are way out here in the woods would be nice if you want that more of a out in the woods feeling. Um, but over here on the right, there's, there are not any sites so far. I do see some over here on the left, which we haven't gotten to yet. So we're just going to walk down here and take a look and see what's down this way. Okay, so then right off the um, tent site area, which is right up here, we just walked down this road. And then over here on the right it's another trail, just a half a mile trail. So you get up in the morning, you'd like to get out and stretch your legs. It's a nice little trail there. 
This is named after the American beech tree. So I'm guessing lots of beech nuts. All right, we're going to continue on. All right, now these are more, um, no power, no water. Um, I'm sure there is water accessible around here somewhere. But these are still, again, very well-maintained sites for tent camping. Or if you are self-contained and don't need power and water, you could use these as well, probably. Um, site 25 over here on the left. This is the inner loop over here. The bathhouse is just over here. So you're not too far from a bathhouse. And then up here on the right would be site 30. Again, facing the woods, nice and deep. Site 26 on the inside loop. bit of space in between lots of trees so there is a little bit of privacy in these site 27 this is also an inside loop as well as site 28 another inside loop and it's kind of right off the road there too number 28 and then over to the right Oh, 32. And again, we are another one of those areas that you pull into and park, and then you walk down to your tent site. Again, another tent site area parking lot for sites 29 through 35. So you would park. There is a site right here at the parking lot, number 35 right there. But the rest of these are kind of down in. You can see right here. Right there. And over here. So these are just kind of down in. Which is kind of nice. Kind of makes you feel like you're not uh, in the middle of everything over here in the campground. This one's nice. Number 34 kind of sits way out here. And you have woods all around you out here. So that's really nice. So someone is in site 36, so I'm not going to show that one. Site 37 next to it has power and water, picnic table, fire ring, lantern hook. So any of these, they all have the same amenities other than the ones without power or water. This is another pull through site 38. Huge. So if you have a large camper, this would be good. Uh, pull through sites, or if there's several of you camping together, might be a good option. Um, but yeah, this is really nice. Number 38 sets off. Here's the woods out here. This is what you get to see. And then back around you is the camp uh, bathhouse. So you're close to that. Your power, your water, lantern hook, picnic table. And firing. It's a huge site. I like that it sits this close to the woods over here. And then we're back around over here to the inside loop, which this is site 39, 40, and 41. Okay, site 39, very deep. Site 40 is just a bit more shallow than the site number 39. Um, but still very nice, long site. And I like how they have put these cement um, ditches, I guess, to help with the uh, water runoff. And it is raining, so you can see they actually do work. So you're not pulling in and out of a site that's washed out. That's really nice, especially if you're pulling a big camper. And again, this is site 40. And we are in Site 41, right next to the bathhouse. Okay. 
All right, and we, it's a super nice site, it's huge. Then we're going to take you guys in the bathhouse. Right, so this is one of the information boards outside the restroom. But there's a map here of the campground. And we are right here. Right next to the bathhouse on this particular loop. Alright, so Shannon and I are going to take you inside the bathroom and the bathhouse. There's nobody inside, we've already checked. But they're really nice. We've got what, three stalls in a handicap stall. It's heated. All right, nice and clean. All right, and then we're gonna take you around here to the left. And I think there are four shower rooms, which are just really, really, really nice. Back up here so you can see. Nice and warm, place to sit. This is, I believe, the handicap. I even have a soap dispenser, places to hang things, handles on the wall, nice, very nice. All right, so she's gonna open up another one. And this is pretty standard, but you've got a bench. I love you have nine, three hooks, which is nice. I always, <laughs> I never understand why they don't put hooks in some of these bathrooms. And some place to put your soap inside. Yeah, so yeah, that's really nice. They even have a soap dispenser. So yeah, these are really nice and clean. Very well maintained. Definitely, definitely nice. All right. Now the men's restroom is right here. I'm not going in there. Um, and then you can get some ice here. They have trash receptacles that they Please don't put your campground trash in. This is just for the bathroom area. And they have a sink back here for washing dishes. All right, so again, the bathhouse is right here. And then just over to the left, as we showed you as we were walking in, this is the camp host site, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and it's a pull through, so you'll see it easily accessed throughout this part of the campground. Here's your firewood. Pretty sure that's on an honor system right now. All right, and then again, across from the bathhouse is another tent camping area. These are sites 42 through 47. Again, a big parking lot. And then you would access your sites, like one is here. This is 42, 45 is down there. can see 43 down in the woods and 44 so this will be 42 3 4 and 5 right here that number 44 is pretty cool it's way down in the woods so you would kind of be away from everybody and then down this way is 46 just kind of nice down here in the woods by itself and this is what you'll be looking at in the morning and then 47 is right here, right off of the graveled parking area. So if you prefer not walking down in the woods, you would have that option. And again, the tent sites have fire rings, picnic tables and lantern hooks, no power. And I'm sure there's a water source right across the street over here. If you need to access water. All right, again, this is site 48 right across from the bathhouse again. Not very deep. All right, site 49, right next to it. Water and power. And site 50 up here on the corner. Water and power. And then over here on the right is the dump station. So that would be it for this loop. Total of, I believe, 50 sites on this particular loop. Um, we have not visited the remaining loops in the campground. I think this is the only loop open right now. Imagine they're all just as nice. So I think you'll be quite comfortable um, 
reserving a spot here. Nice, nice campground. Right now it's just, we're just getting through the end of winter. So things are pretty slow. As you can see, there's hardly anybody here, which we love. But even if it was crowded, I think it would still be nice. 